What is going on, everyone? And welcome to the Stock Trends channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. We are looking at NEO stock today, ticker symbol NIO in this video. We are looking at NEO on a tip ranks right now. We're looking at current price targets. We have a strong buy right here with eight buy ratings. Average price target 63.63 to be exact. We average some of those price targets out. Highest target is 81 and the lowest target is $50 as we speak. NEO is sitting just at that lowest target, just around 50 bucks at the time we're making this video. This is Tip Ranks. Again, we'll leave a link in the pinned comment and description box down below to get access to the ultimate platform, which is what we use here all the time. Best information on the market right now. You, you get access to anything and everything when it comes down to it all in one place. So researching stocks, finding stocks, doing analysis, getting access to price targets, it is all done right here. So recent price targets are actually really cool to see. Morgan Stanley and Citigroup, and then even Bank of America. I mean, you're talking about three of the biggest dogs in the space when it comes to putting out price targets for stocks. These are the actual, these are the firms, right, that you want to look at. You see some big names. For example, Bank of America, Morgan Stanley, Citigroup, those are three big names right there that can help move stocks in those directions. Now, two months ago, that was Bank of America. We had two days ago, Morgan Stanley, and then 18 hours ago from when we're filming this video, so this past week, we actually have a Citigroup price target at $72. So what do we got to talk about with NEO? Well, of course, we had some of the delivery numbers. Of course, we have to talk about some of that, but of course, we gotta talk about the stock's reaction to that and why a very crucial level on the chart held up to be an area of resistance, okay? Despite those numbers, okay? So if we take a look at some of the recent news in terms of what is going on, we can show more news right here. Go back a couple days. Thursday morning in pre-market, NEO popped on up after it reported record monthly deliveries for June. 8,083 vehicles for the month were delivered, which is up 116.1% from the same time one year ago. Again, we always talk about NEO and we talk about these delivery numbers. You have to understand that, you know, when you're talking about year over year, yeah, you're going to see some significant numbers. We kind of expect that, right? Now they can dive through what those deliveries consisted of, but what ended up actually happening here with NEO's stock? Well, we came up Thursday morning and hit 5513 and then sold off completely, pretty much almost right back to 50 bucks the entire day on Thursday, right back down that entire day. If we actually go to the five minute chart, let's take a look at what actually happened here. We scroll ourselves on out so we can see this a lot better. We look at the five minute chart, NEO pushing up. They had those numbers released in pre-market. The stock pops on up, hits 55.25 in pre-market, hits 55.13 at the market open, and then sells off and boom actually hit lows down to 5026. So if you were someone who was day trading NEO on the short side or you know whatever, right? You're talking about a move on this stock of about 9% from the highs to the lows, which gives you plenty of range to play volatility. You can play options. People who play puts crushed it on NEO if you had the uh, the uh, wherewithal to play puts here on this play. Now, stock kind of did the same thing today, pushing on up and then sold off hard at the open, hitting down to 48.53. But why is there a line up here? We actually had that line in from quite some time ago and we zoomed things out. That's a key level on the chart. Why is that? Well, prior highs back at the end of 2020. And then if we look back to the early 2021, that was an area that held up as support. So that's telling us a key level and that's $55 roughly. So it was not surprising to see NEO come up to roughly $55 and then get rejected to the downside. And now in terms of support, we have to watch areas down here towards 47, all the way down towards about 45. That will be an area to watch as support because it was a prior area of consolidation for a couple of days, a couple of weeks before NEO made that jump in anticipation of those June numbers. And then once we got the numbers, boom, sell off. Buy the rumor, sell the news, pretty much here, guys, at its finest. Now the markets are pretty green. So again, it's not like NEO is following the overall markets. It's not like NEO, hey, oh my gosh, you know, all EV stocks got destroyed and there was a reason why NEO had to be down, you know, so much the past two days after hitting 55. No, you're kind of seeing, you know, it was pricing in the move. We got the move and now NEO has pulled back a little bit from where it was. Now, if you go back literally just a week ago, NEO was sitting back down here and NEO was down around 45. And from that point to those highs, it's up 20%, which is substantial. So a pullback of about 10%, not uncommon. You see this stuff happen all the time when it comes to a lot of stocks and we just got rid of that 55. We got to put that line right back up there. We can't leave that 55 because we need to make sure that we are watching that line going forward with NEO. So 
we talked about the downside, we talked about the upside, we gotta get back over 55. And when we get over that level, you have to see Neo hold above that 55 so that it breaks through, holds that, regains that prior resistance to now be support and then make its move on to the upside. But again, Neo has made quite the run the past month and a half or so from down around 30 bucks, hitting up towards 55. That's a substantial move. It would not be surprising to see a pullback and a consolidation before the next leg in the upward or a potentially downward direction, depending upon how things play out. So there you guys have it. That is our update on Neo price targets, technical analysis, things to watch out for over 55. This could get a nice shot up towards those highs, up around 65 to 67. Appreciate you guys so much for tuning into the channel. If you like these types of videos, make sure you're jumping down below, hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing. If you like the content here, good chance you like the content on our other channels. We'll link those down in the description box as well as a link down below to get two free stocks when you sign up, deposit 100 bucks with Webull. Now on top of Webull, if you want even more free stocks because you've already gotten your free stocks at Webull and you just can't get enough, We'll leave a link down below to Moomoo, a new trading platform, very, very similar in a sense to Webull. And you'll actually be able to get up to, I believe, four free stocks right now when you sign up deposit and depending upon your deposit promotion, obviously click the link down below and they'll give you the current promotion that they are running right now. If you wanted to, go through that process, get your free stocks, sell them, cash out, put it into your Webull account, TD Ameritrade, whatever account you want to use, and you can utilize that money there. So definitely worth a shot. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Check out those links and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.